All right. I just made a video about the USA truck lease. And after 24 minutes, I realized that it was like 30 seconds of talking about the lease and 23 and a half minutes of me ranting. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try to stay on topic with the lease. So I'm really frustrated with a whole bunch of stuff right now, and I'm still looking for other jobs with other companies, and I'm looking for other opportunities with USA Truck. I'm exploring lease opportunities. Le My goal here is leasing. So if I can lease, that's it. That's what I'm doing. Aside from that, I'm going to look at opportunities on getting onto a dedicated fleet or something because I'm getting tired of, uh, you know, what I'm doing right now. But anyway, so I'm, I got nothing but time right now because I'm waiting on a load, which is one of the frustrating things, uh, on why I want to get out of what I'm in right now is, uh, I'm waiting all day for this load, and then I have, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, I have four days to drive 900 miles. For anybody not in trucking, that's two extra days. That's over two extra days. <laughs> that's, like, two and a half extra days. So I'm going to have two and a half days that I'm going to be sitting around not getting paid this week. Not at my house at a fucking truck stop. So, um, <laughs> uh, let's get to the point before I start ranting and raving again. So, um, while I was calling around looking at other opportunities, I called the lease department, which is really, really hard to get a hold of lease here at USA truck. There are only two people that work in the lease department. Now, they have managers and stuff like that that you don't deal directly with. But as far as the people that you deal directly with in lease, there are only two people. They do the lease recruiting. They do um, the setup. They do, they're the driver managers for the lease department. They are the end-all, be-all for the lease department. Um, they're everything for lease. And there's only two of them. So they're really, really, really busy. It's really hard to get a hold of them. And I was able to finally get a hold of one of them. It's Tom and Christina. So I've been trying to reach them since November of 2019. I finally was able to get a driver. What, what was her title? Patricia's title is driver. Uh, she told me she's a driver advocate. I don't think that's her official title. She has a different title, but she said she's a driver advocate. Um, she was able to get Tom to call me back about a week and a half ago. And Tom was not able to answer my question. When can I lease? What is the experience requirement for leasing? And uh, he said he would get back to me. He said that they used the insurance that they used to have required like nine months, six or nine months of experience uh, to lease. But he said they recently switched insurance and the new insurance is not nearly as strict on experience requirement. And he doesn't know what the new experience requirement is because they'd always just use the insurance as the experience requirement. So he said he would find out and get back to me. Well, he didn't get back to me. That was a week and a half ago. So I, uh, I called the normal USA truck recruiting department, told them I was trying to get in touch with the lease, told them I was a company driver right now. And I told them that the, the, the recruiting number listed for the lease department is like a disconnected number. You call it and it says all the lines are busy. I've been calling it all day long. So, um, he transferred me somewhere. I think it was the same number that I had been calling that's disconnected. And he said, well, let me try something else. And then he transferred me again, and he got me in touch with Christina. Christina pretty much told me the same thing Tom told me about the insurance, that the experience requirement that they used to have was purely based on the insurance. And now they have a new insurance, and they said that she said that the new insurance doesn't have any experience requirement. So she has to talk with her managers and find out, like, they have to have a, a group discussion, a powwow, and they have to decide what experience requirement they want to have. 
because now they're not limited by insurance. They can they can bring somebody on that's straight out of CDL school that doesn't have a day of driving experience and throw them into a lease. Um, oh, there's an owner op pulling a USA truck. Let's see if he waves at me. Uh, he didn't even look over here. I don't even think he was leased on with USA. I think that was a full-blown owner op. I didn't see a USA truck written on the side of his truck or anything. But USA truck has very, very, very relaxed uh, requirements on the trucks. You can drive almost any truck you want with USA truck. I forgot what their requirements were. Um, they were really, really low requirements. Um, it was height and weight requirements, stuff like that. I think Tom told me that they prefer trucks that are 19,000 pounds or less, but that wasn't a strict requirement, that was a preference. As far as strict requirements, it has to be able to pass a DOT inspection, and I think maybe it had to be 2010 or newer. I don't even think that was a requirement, honestly. I don't remember what the requirements were, because I'm planning on getting a truck that's way beyond what their requirements are. <laughs> uh, but anyway, some really awesome things came out of that conversation with Christina. I really like Christina. Um, so number one, she said that she was sending a message to her manager right then asking what the new experience requirement was. She said that she also has a meeting with her manager at 3 p.m. today, and she's going to bring that up in the meeting to figure out what it is. And um, she gave me her direct number and Tom's direct number so I can reach them directly from now on. And we talked a little bit about my particular situation. I told her how much experience I have and all that stuff, and um, she pulled me up in the system. I'm sure that she could look at everything that I was telling her. And um, I uh, um, and I told her, you know, I have like two, two and a half months of experience. I'm not sure exactly. I said I'm not, because I'm not sure like when USA Truck started like applying my experience. Like did they give me credit for experience during orientation? Like I don't know. Um, I said I've been with the company for about two and a half months, uh, but as far as driving experience goes, I don't know like what they're giving me credit for. So it's somewhere between like two months and two and a half months of driving experience. I haven't quite hit three months yet. Um, I said I want to lease ASAP. I told her that like the whole reason that I got into the industry, I, you know, I told her about I, I've driven before. I drove uh, about 15 years ago. But as far as, uh, you know, recent experience, I only have like two and a half months. But the whole reason I'm getting into the industry is to lease. I said, I've got money saved up. I've got good credit. Um, you know, getting a truck is not a problem. And uh, she was saying, well, then you probably don't need to lease. And I said, well, when I say lease, I'm talking like leasing on with the company. I'm not talking like lease purchase. I'm I said, as far as purchasing the truck, I'm probably going to do normal financing for the truck. I, I'm most likely not going to do a lease purchase. She said, yeah, that would be a lot better because on the lease purchase, you pay a lot more money. Um, she, she basically said on lease purchases, they screw you over. And if you can do bank financing, you'll save a ton of money. And that's what I plan on doing is bank financing. Like the truck I want to get is like 40 grand. That should be really easy for me incredibly easy for me to get um, because I have a lot of money to put down I, 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 honestly like I have money saved up and it's not all just for down payment it's for a whole bunch of shit I don't there's no way in hell that I'm putting all the money I have saved up on a down payment that would be stupid I want to keep some in reserves for you know issues but uh you know, she and I got to talking about that. I told her I have, you know, previous driving experience and the whole reason I got into the trucking industry is to get into a lease and I want to get into a lease as soon as possible. And, uh, you know, I said, I want to be an owner operator. That is my end game goal is to one day be an owner operator. And so, uh, 
we're she's gonna check in on all that stuff I will hopefully have an answer today on how like much time I have until I can lease with USA truck I'm not sure if I mentioned it already in this video because you know like I said this is the second video I made on this but an employee identification number she told me that I need to submit for that immediately because once I submit for that um, it takes 15 days for it to become active and they cannot hire me into lease until I have an active EIN. I have to apply for one at the IRS. So I'm going to do that. And uh, she told me I have to do a 2290 or some crap. I don't know. But all of that is stuff that we can go through once I get the approval that I can go uh, on with them. You know, that's when I can go and start looking at buying a truck and all that stuff. You know, it's uh, because I can't like, why would I go and waste somebody's time looking to buy a truck and negotiating price and everything else with them and bothering my bank with getting pre-approved for financing? Um, you know, all that stuff when I don't know when I can lease, like, is it a year? Is it six months? Is it three months? Is it tomorrow? Like if I know that three weeks from now, USA truck is going to lease me like the guaranteed I can lease in three weeks, then I'm going to start shopping for a truck. I'm going to start like making preparations. Um, I'm going to start like getting serious on this, but until I know exactly when I can lease on with them, I'm not going to start doing any of that stuff. I'm, I, you know, I browse what kind of trucks are available and everything to kind of keep up with the market, but I'm not going to waste anybody's time by actually calling or uh, anything like that, negotiating price or anything, because like it's a it's a huge waste of my time and their time. So I, I'm really I, I'm in a bad mood because of how bad this week is. Um, it, this is a horrible, horrible week for me, mileage wise. I'm just getting absolutely nothing for miles. I'm gonna try to put a positive spin on this in my mind. I'm gonna get up there to my delivery. And I'm gonna find a Loves, and I have Wi-Fi set up for Loves. I have their monthly thing that I pay for. Almost every place I go has terrible Wi-Fi at Loves. Like I'm getting like 1.5 megabits per second, uh, full duplex, if I'm lucky. Like I'm getting like 125 kilobits, not kilobytes, 125 kilobit connections on most of these Loves, and I'm paying like for their premium service. That's not their free service. So uh, it's it's rather irritating. But hopefully I can find a Loves with a decent Wi-Fi connection and I'll just play video games on my laptop for two days. I'm um, headed up to Michigan, so I'm going to try to make the best of it. And I'll just take this as, uh, you know, two days off this week. Um, I'm, I'm going to be really salty about it. Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll do another like heads up video on the lease thing if I get an answer. And I'm gonna be so incredibly happy if they come back and tell me um, that I can do it like after three months of experience. Oh my God, I'm gonna be so happy. Anyway, thanks for watching.